Welcome to the next edition of Leadership Journey with Corporate Sage. We are picking up speed. And as I referred in one of the earlier episodes, I am going to use the same equilateral triangle example where all sides being equal and the three qualities to be in exact proportion to each other for success. In that episode, we had spoken about TAT, trust, alignment, and transparency. In this episode, I am going to touch upon a very important leadership topic. I would call it the PPF model. The past, the present, and the future. Many times when I do leadership sessions or do one-on-one -on -one coaching with the middle, top-level corporate executives, CEOs, boardroom members, and directors of companies, or even industrialists, one thing that I see, which I'm very sure many of you in retrospective will also observe with yourself, is that we are too ingrained in the current situation. I wouldn't exactly say we are in the moment, but we are ingrained in the current situation. An immediate symptom to be addressed, a financial loss to be plugged, an employee quitting has to be resolved. Something like that. Things which have a very short window. Maximum at best about the next month's or the next quarter's results. A good leadership material must be able to understand one thing for certain. Whatever is happening in the present is because of the past that was either done well or not done well. And whatever is going to happen in the future is purely a reflection of what you are capable of doing in the present to create that future that you desire to see unfolding. If so, it is in the present, let's say one day at a time, where you actually have the full control of learning and taking forward from what you did right in the past or to undo the mistakes from the past so that the future is devoid of such blemishes and you can perform far better than what you have done in the past. Hence, what would a good leadership material do? Let's take one day at a time. If you look at the present, as I mentioned, it is an impact that has come down to you from the past, positive or otherwise. If you have an eight-hour day, let's put it this way that uh, you have about eight hours every day at work. And let's see how to use the PPF model on a day-to-day -day basis for you to create an impactful future and also a present in which the results that you are seeking are continuously met with lesser and lesser challenges. Set aside about two hours per day where you work on what has impacted you or your organization in the past one, two, three years. The organizational mistakes that you have made, the process mistakes that you and your team might have made, the behavioral and leadership challenges that your team might have come through, which has brought them to the current state of affairs. If you're able to take inventory of that and do a root cause analysis and find how you can rectify them, your present, even without your knowledge, you'll find that starts getting better and better and better. In fact, in some of the matured organizations, I work towards creating three teams a team that works under a capable leadership of handling the past alone. 
a team that works on ensuring that the present, which is in the next one month, a quarter, maximum one financial year, is done properly so that the results can be achieved, the desired results. As I mentioned, says it is a two hours per day for undoing or learning from the past. Set aside about four hours per day to manage the present. This is where you set proper goals, you strategize, you plan, you work on the execution strategy, and you ensure faultless execution. All this done properly. I'll be diving deeper into these aspects in future episodes. We'll ensure that in all probabilities that you will far exceed the expectations that you have set for yourself for the present or the current quarter of financial year. That takes about six hours per day. Let's say that you have another two hours left. This is where you work towards building the future of the organization. Where should you be going? Where should the organization be headed? What are the new products and services? What are the newer opportunities and challenges that you can predict today and ensure that you overcome them or conquer them or make the best use of those opportunities to your and your organization's advantage? Ideally, three separate teams, you can have an executive vice president or someone who works under you, who manages the past bucket and one more who manages the present bucket and one more who manages the future bucket and you spend a balanced amount of time between the three buckets. This model is something that will ensure that the mistakes from the past or the good things from the past are neither forgotten or lost to ensure you get the better present and ensure that by working in the present which you get the best out of to create a better compelling future. If you do this consistently for a period of three months, starting from today, from the time you listen to this, start with this PPF model of two hours, four hours and two hours per day and see the magic unfolding. Let's catch up again soon in the next episode. Till then, this is Pakpir Sage Prakash signing off from you. Thank you.